Now don't go jump into any conclusions here. Don't go thinking to yourself, oh, it's working. It's only sorta working. And it would only sorta work if there was gonna be a pendulum there like where those vice grips are clamped on instead of a balance wheel. Because there's gonna be a balance wheel, the anchor has to lock in place. And I'm gonna try and show you exactly what I'm talking about here. I tried to do that before, but I don't think I did a very good job. So here we go again. Now, when we're using a pendulum, you know, even if the pendulum is really swinging a long way, like it, like this, the uh, fork does not let go of this bearing here. But on a balance wheel, I'm going to have to hold this up because it's going to want to go back down by itself and it shouldn't. It should lock into place. But the balance wheel, it's going to go around and then the spring on the balance wheel is going to bring it back and the idea is that at this point here when the bearing enters the fork it pushes down and unlocks the anchor on the escapement wheel. Okay, and it comes down on the bottom and the same thing happens again. Now if I let go it's going to go up all by itself and it shouldn't. It should lock in place. Okay, now we'll take a look at the uh, at the escapement wheel and we'll see on the teeth why it's not locking in place. Now I know we're looking at it from a rather funny angle. You're looking at it almost from the bottom, looking up. But that's so that you can see both, both of the, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, pallets on the anchor. Now the idea is, right now, this should lock into place so that when the balance wheel bearing leaves the fork, it locks that way. It doesn't want to come back out. And the way to do that is to have this at more of an angle this way. Okay, so it sort of hooks onto the bearing. Now the same would go for the top one. This, this one here, instead of being up this way, would be more this way. So it would kind of hook onto the bearing. Right now they're not doing that. In fact, they're having the opposite effect. They're pushing the bearing out. So I've got to make up teeth that are going to be angled in such a way that when the tooth catches on the bearing, as it is on the bottom one right now, it hooks onto it and just keeps it that way. In other words, it's the way a real mechanical wristwatch is made. Now I realize this is not much of an episode today. I spent pretty well the whole morning, well, about three hours I guess, you know, getting the the shafts the right distances apart and uh, tacking down the pillow blocks and having stuff fall on the floor and pick it up and <laughs> anyway I'm sure you kinda get the picture and you didn't need to see it so uh, tomorrow all being well I'll probably be digging out the power miter and I've got a jig that I use for cutting up little segments and it you know holds them down and it worked pretty good on the segments and it's probably gonna work good on you know teeth <laughs> anyway See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.